OK, so we've been talking about the unit circle. And we've been talking about triangles. And all those different ways we use to find all the trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. And now we're given a point. And they want us to find the point, or all the trigonometric functions, just given one point. So what we're going to have to do is one thing we notice is this point is not going to be on the unit circle. Um, because remember, the unit circle only had a radius of 1. So if I'm going over 4 and up 1, we know that's not going to be on the unit circle. So the next thing we can do to find our trigonometric functions is to create a triangle. And there's a special way I want you to remember to create triangles when given a point. One thing is we're always going to use, remember, our standard angle, where we're going to have our initial side is going to be on our x-axis, and then we're going to have a terminal side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the point negative 4, 1. All right. Now, it's really important when graphing this that we need to decide what is this angle. All right? So we're going to, well, first of all, not even, sorry, not even worry about an angle. What we need to do is we need to create a triangle. So to create a triangle from this point, first of all, we need to create a central angle. So we need to create an angle that's going to be incorporated with our origin of our, um, of our graph. So I'm going to create my central angle, and that's going to be my angle that I'll use to measure. And then I also need to create a right triangle. So to create a right triangle, you're always going to want to take a vertical perpendicular line to your horizontal x-axis. Therefore, now what I've just done is created a right triangle with a central angle theta. So now what I can do is I can use my um, Pythagorean identity or Pythagorean theorem to figure out the rest of my angle. So I know that. My length here is negative 4, and my height is 1. Now I just need to determine what my hypotenuse is. So I can just use Pythagorean theorem. So my leg squared plus my other leg squared is going to equal my hypotenuse squared, which we'll call c. It equals c squared, I'm sorry. So I have 16 plus 1 equals c squared. So c is going to equal the square root of 17. So now that I know that the c is, or the hypotenuse squared is 17, I have all three areas of my triangle. I can now use my trigonometric functions. So remember, the sine of my angle theta represents the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's going to be 1 over the square root of 17. Now make sure, remember, we to rationalize our denominator. So we're going to multiply by 17 over 17. And what I get is the square root of 17 over 17. Then I move on to the cosine of theta. The cosine of theta is now going to be very similar to the sine, except it's the adjacent side of the angle over the hypotenuse. So therefore, I have negative 4 divided by the square root of 17. Simplify by rationalizing the same way, and you'll have negative 4 square root of 17 over 17. Now let's go and look at the tangent of the angle. Now remember, tangent is going to be the opposite, I'm sorry, the opposite over the adjacent. So therefore, I'll have a negative. 1 fourth. So there, there's your three main trigonometric functions. But remember, we also want to find all six. So we need to use the inverse trigonometric functions, which will start off with the inverse, or I'm sorry, not the inverse, the reciprocal functions of um, sine of theta, which is cosecant of theta. So all we're going to do is we're just going to reciprocate this. So it's now going to be hypotenuse over opposite, which will just be the square root of 17 over 1, which is just the square root of 17. The secant of theta is going to be the square root of 17 over negative 4. And the cotangent of theta is now going to be the reciprocal of a negative 1 fourth, which will now be a negative 4 over 1, which is just a negative 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find your trig trigonometric functions given a point. Thanks.